Hi guys, thanks for joining me. So today I've got my orange box here and I have my update for my 19 products in 2019 banning project. So I'm just going to go through it and let you know that I finished the argan oil body butter previously. I finished the bath oil. I finished the metallic nail polish the facial wipes and the Burt's Bees cleanser. So I'm just going to go through the items that I have finished this time between this update and the last update. So I'll get those over and done with now. So I have finished the Boots number no. 7 and that was the eye makeup remover. Um, yep, I really like the eye makeup remover but I used it to take off all of my makeup rather than just the eye makeup. Um, I have also finished, and I'm really sad that this is gone, um, the facial oil. Um, I do still have some of my Mitchell and Peach facial oil, but I really enjoyed this. Um, I think I sent it to one of my friends in a box recently. Um, I had a spare one, but I really enjoy it. Um, I think I sent it to Lisa, a subscription box addict, because she had never tried a facial oil. <coughs> but I'm really sad this is gone. I really enjoyed it. And um, yep, it is something that I will continue to use. What else have I finished? Oh, yep, the Clinique Chubby Stick Highlighter. I'm calling that done. I mean, yeah, I could use my finger and get some more out of it, but to be honest with you, I'm glad to see the back of it. <laughs> so I am calling that done. Um, what else is in here? Oh, something feels like it's been leaking. So, yep, I've still got the... I have still got the Norwegian hand cream, which I'm going to start soon putting on my feet just to use it. I've still got the creme de la creme foot cream, hoping to get that finished up this quarter, quarter, this month. Um, I've still got the Ico um, fat stick, or the Ico fat eye stick, yeah. Um, not a massive fan of this, so I don't know. I put it on and I kind of wish I'd never put it into the project. The same with this um, here. This, um, look, it's all battered and falling to bits. Uh, <laughs> but I am kind of getting through it. I don't wear very often an eye um, pencil. Um, lip liner, I'm actually going to call that as done. Um, that was more shenanigans than it was worth. I've still got some of the lip gloss. Um, I use that quite a lot. quite like that colour, actually. I still have this um, lipstick pencil that I got in the number no. 7 kit. I do pop that in my handbag, though, um, and put it on when I remember. It's actually really nice on your lips. It, it's really quite moisturising, so it is quite nice, even if you've not got makeup on, just to put it on like a balm. I still have the the long lasting grey blue um, polish. I think I'll use this more, kind of, I don't think I'll use this very much through the summer, so kind of coming into the autumn, I'll finish that off. I still have the cuticle oil, the never ending cuticle oil. So while that's out, I'm gonna put some on. And tonight, I pulled this out of my makeup bag, um, and I actually did my eye makeup with it tonight. Um, probably went a bit cockeyed there, didn't I? So I'm doing not too bad with that, actually. Um, I've hit pan on three of the shades there. And um, so the red one, I think I've said before, this kind of raspberry colour here, I'm not sure how much I would use that and these these two colours. Um, I used a little bit of that colour under my eye. Um, and then I used this colour here instead of an eyeliner um, to go through my eyes. Um, so yeah... I need to remember and dig this out and use it more often. So that is everything. I'm kind of still got quite a few. I'm trying to see if I can gather them all up in my hands. Oh, and the face mask. Um, so I've drawn some lines on it. So I still need to draw a line. So under here is where I've been drawing the lines to. So I've used it a couple of times um, since the last time. It's a nice face mask, but I've got so many face masks. But this one, you just pop it on like a moisturiser. And I usually do it when I'm doing other things. So it does hydrate your skin. Um, so it says right, for dry or very dry skin. Now I've got combination skin, but I still enjoy using this. 
so that's my update for this month thank you for joining me let me know how you're getting on do you pan um i know a lot of people do on here have you never heard of it before do you need any more information um there is a facebook group that you can join called the Pantastic ladies they've got lots of projects on there and there's lots of people here who do panning projects and thinking trying to think so there's nikki pearson who does lots of panning projects the wacky world of lottie laura bollam um there's laura from gold star work i think she she does panning projects there's my good friend kaylee and um, she does panning projects i think kate s is it kate s w she does panning projects um i think the little she bear does planning pro panning projects um don't think lady mawa does no um so yeah there's lots of people that do it and if you need me to kind of recommend anybody else's channels if i have a wee think about them i'll point you in the right direction so guys thank you for watching and that is just under six minutes so catch you later Bye bye